Oh, hello. I didn't hear you come in. But since you're here, might as well tell you a story. This is not a big fish story. In fact, it's a zero fish story. This is my first experience in Michigan City, Fish and Trail Creek. Uh, with all my research on it, I couldn't find exactly where to go, where to park, where to access the creek, how big is the creek. You can see from some other people's videos, certain parts aren't that big, other parts look bigger, but nobody ever talks about where they're actually at. I didn't even know the length of this creek. This creek is not that long. From Lake Michigan to where it just is a puddle, it's not that big of a river system or anything like that. Um, so I hope this video will help you. At the end, when I come back to the desk, I'm going to be talking about where I was on the map, give you actual roads and the places I parked, uh, where not to go, where not to, if you're going to go out and explore like I did, um, and just try and find pull-offs and things like that, I could, I could probably help out with just telling you to skip here and skip there. So I'm going to try and get back and actually just, I don't know if I'll get the camera on my phone of uh, the roads I'm going to use, I'll figure that out, but I'll actually give you some roads at the end of uh, where I was during this. So enjoy this zero fish video. I decided finally to use a vacation day. Uh, I haven't had, I haven't used a vacation day in uh, eight months. I haven't, I haven't been off a day of work. And so I just finally decided to take it on a Friday. I want to hit up the infamous Trail Creek and I got all my fly fishing stuff together. I want to see if I can get any steelhead or anything that anything big that's swimming in that creek. And I just happened to land on like the most beautiful spring day. It's April 17th or 18th or something. I landed on the most beautiful spring day you can think of. Let me show you. So we got about five inches of snow last night, you know, in the middle of April. It's pretty typical stuff. Uh, you can see. That annoying squeak you hear is, I bought a lens, I'm using the D750 right now with a microphone, a little video micro. Anyway, but I also got a 16, 17 to 35 millimeter Nikon lens. I got a deal on it. I said there might be some slight dust in there and I'm like, okay, cool. I could deal with that. I get it, that's the autofocus motor squeaking. Uh, it didn't say that in the description. So I'm, I'm looking for solutions. I've been searching online and it, just, it sounds like it's oxidation on the autofocus motor. So I might have to take this thing apart and do some cleaning, some lubing. We'll see. But uh, so, so far this is my day. I'm to Michigan City and see how this goes. I'm listening to a Science Versus podcast on the way out there. I'm about to switch to Orvis once this one's over. The Orvis podcast with Tom Rosenbauer. That's an awesome podcast. Um, even if you already know everything, you get new perspective out of it. So I'll be, I'll be listening to that all the way to Michigan City. All right, I'll see you there. So here I am, Michigan City, Indiana. Middle of January. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually the middle of April. I found one little parking spot here. And I'm going to go down and see if I can find a creek. Never been here before. I've never fished this creek. Just heard lots of good things. So I'm going to go for a walk and see what I can find. So it does turn out this is going to be my first spot. As you can see, it is narrow and it is sticky. There's that squeak in my focus again. So I'm going to head back up to the truck and uh, suit up. I don't know if I'm going to bring this camera. I might just be switching to the GoPro for this just because it's still snowing a ton. But at least I have open water. I mean, it's been nice and we just got this all of a sudden. So I don't know if I'll be on this camera with the microphone or not. I might just all be GoPro footage after this, at least for now. Um, yeah, I'll check back in with you after I suit up. Suited up, walking back down. Um, what I'm starting off with, with some of the research I did is I'm going to try a egg fly pattern with a strike indicator. If anybody watching this has fished this creek successfully, and most of the time I'm going to be fly fishing it, so I'm not really going to be using spinners and things like that. Uh, so, but if you have any tips on the fly fishing around here, let me know. I'm trying between the egg patterns and the uh, nymphs. That's what I'm giving a shot in here today. Don't know if anything's going to bite. It's more of a, a scouting trip for later. 
I definitely will be back in the fall for the salmon run. Um, yeah, I just want to try something new. Never been out here. I love scouting new areas. Um, so yeah, here I am walking on a trail. So this egg pattern I got, it floats better than a popper. So I'm gonna add a little split shot up. I think I'm gonna move the indicator up a little further so I can get down a little deeper. Not sure how deep it is in this creek, but it does look like it drops off pretty quick. Switching up, going to a woolly bugger, you know, all reliable. We'll see. Uh, one tip I do have if you're fishing this creek, fly fishing this creek, is bring your best roll cast. It's very sticky, it's very tight. You can see GoPro is kind of a wide angle here, so hopefully you can see it. I'll know more when I get on the computer, but it is a sticky, thick river. Bring your best roll cast. Oh. I hit this spot pretty good. Tried, uh, tried a woolly bugger, tried a uh, salmon egg, and I'm gonna go see what else I can find. I really don't know where I'm going yet, so I'm just kind of using Google Maps and moving around, and at least everything's all suited up. So. But as you can see, it's a beautiful day for January, but not April. Lost the woolly bugger. Time to try a nymph. Well, I'm done for the day here. Found some new spots and all that. Uh, heading home, got to start editing, putting all this together. So I will see you back at the desk. So I'm back at the desk. Um, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, I know it's kind of boring watching fishing videos without fish, but I got skunked, it happens. I did, the whole point of this was to go out and explore new creek especially such a notorious creek so like i promised i'm gonna i got the map pulled up here on the laptop about where i was uh i do apologize i don't know how to make a video yet of like where you actually just see me working on the laptop so i'm literally just pointing the camera at the computer so here let's take a look me coming from the southwest suburbs i came up 94 to the exit of michigan city 34a or b i think it was i'm not exactly sure I took this 421 north all the way into Michigan City, 
I took the slight left here to 8th Street. I turned right on 8th Street and I followed this. And the whole time I'm just looking at Hickory Creek is right here. It's all this. So I took this 8th Street, crossed here, took it down, and right in here, this winding creek Cove Park was that first stop I made where you saw me get out in the snow and go and explore down by the creek. So that's a nice little parking spot there. Um, not many spots, and I got to imagine in good weather, it's, a, it's, it's crowded. So not sure how crowded this creek does get. It seems like it does. I mean, there's trophy fish in here. I just either don't know what I'm doing or I was just here at the wrong time. I'm going with the wrong time. So I came out of here and then I went over to this Liberty Trail. So it tees, turn left. I crossed the bridge over here. This is a, this looked like private property. I wanted to go down this little, and there's a house right here and it's just about as wide as a street. And I didn't want to park there in case I just, I couldn't. So I continued to explore. I drove up this Liberty Trail to the second street. And this is what I didn't, this is where I just kind of did a big loop. So I went down this second street all the way over here. That's that Michigan City sign that you saw going into here. And I came, I was trying to find it by the blue chip. I couldn't find anything. Um, I crossed this bridge and in this part, this is like Lake Michigan. This is downtown Michigan City, really. Over here is kind of big boats and harbors and things like that. It's not really like hiking and wading and stuff like that. So I forget exactly where I turned. I think I went, I went down back down this Michigan Boulevard. I went back over to A Street, crossed this guy again. Then I came up here and I found that one turnoff I showed you where I was on that rocky road. I turned in there and following that rocky road is the one parking spot. It was actually kind of a nice little spot. I backed my truck in there was one spot and then all back in here and stuff is all houses, private property. So the one thing is I'm not exactly sure where that spit me out at. It was a long road. Once you took it, it was a long road, but looking on this map, I put in that neighborhood, Potawatomi Park. And looking at this map coming off the main drag here, I thought I was going to be able to come back here and find river access over here. I was wrong. This is all a neighborhood. This is all private property. You cannot access any fishing spots here. In fact, this neighborhood is way above the creek. It's, I, I don't know, 100 feet higher than the creek. So that wasn't a good spot. So uh, the one thing I did learn, I'm looking at the map, and I'm going to say right here on the Springfield Avenue. When you're watching other people's videos of them just land and fish and things like that, you see a dam with the steel I trying to climb it. That dam, I believe, was right here on the Springfield Avenue, right here by the Potawatomi Golf Club. Um, and this is where I, I wish I knew where that dam was. I guess I completely missed it. I did see the fenced off area on this side of the creek, on this side of the road, and I would have, I would have just explored down in here. I did not get to this part of the creek. So if you want to learn by my mistake, I would try and explore this side of the creek, south of the Springfield Avenue, just because I believe the dam is right here. Um, this was all private. You couldn't get in here, especially with all the stay at home order crap that this is all closed up. And I'm sure a golf course wouldn't let you in there to fish anyway. Um, as a golfer, I guess I don't blame them. So that is my little tour around Michigan City. So pretty much from this winding creek, this I, I did drive over this bridge. There's a little marina here. Um, and, but this is all this is all where it's like still kind of big water. Still kind of looks like it was a feeder to Lake Michigan for sure. And over here is where it starts to turn into a little sticky creek. And what I mean by a little creek, I mean it's about it's about two widths of my truck wide in some spots. But the one thing I will say about this creek. It is not good for wading. Every step I took off the bank, it seems like I dropped a foot. So I was two, three feet off of shore, and I was up to my hips in water, and it was very silted in.
very mucky, and you started getting that stuck feeling. So it really wasn't set up for waiting, at least in the portion I was in. The videos I have seen, they're waiting around just fine, but I think that's downstream of the dam. I will be back to the spot. I did like it. I liked the town. It was easy to get to. I will be back for the fall salmon run. And I'm going to try the summer steelhead. And I will be back. Just waiting for coronavirus to be done, really, for everything to be opened up. But thank you for watching. There will be another video in about a week, hopefully. I'm thinking about possibly doing one on concealed carry and the way I do it. Just a quick video. Thank you for watching.